Hello everyone and welcome to the weird, scary and horrible parts of humanity. Today we are looking at Dimitris Vakrinos, who is widely seen as one of the worst serial killers of the 20th century in Greece. Vakrinos was born in 1962 in the small village of Biris in Gortaina, Arcadia, Greece. Vakrinos was the second of four children born to farmers, and despite performing moderately well in school, he had a difficult childhood as the son of an alcoholic father, and was frequently abused by his father. However, he had a good relationship with his mother and three sisters. In 1975, at the age of 13, Vakrinos moved to Athens, where he lived with a family friend and worked in a tavern. Later, he was put into an orphanage. He remained short in physical stature throughout his childhood and adult life. Following completion of school, he trained as a welder at a technical school, working at Elepsis Shipyard. He committed his first murder on the 6th of August 1987 at the age of 25. 43-year-old Panayotis Gaglias was staying at the house of Vakrinos in Petropoli, Athens, with Vakrinos having offered to help Gaglias. According to Vakrinos, he stole the gun of Gaglias, and upon realization, Gaglias threatened to notify police. To prevent this, Vakrinos impulsively shot Gaglias. He then drove 19 kilometers down the Agros to Triopolis highway and dumped the corpse of Gaglias. Discovered on the 14th of August 1987, no one was able to link Vakrinos to the murder of Gaglias. A free man, Vakrinos married in 1990, with the couple moving to Kerazzini, a suburb in the west of Athens. Fourteen months later, in 1991, the wife of Vakrinos divorced him and kicked him out of their house in Kerazzini claiming that his father-in-law was living in a cottage on Salamis Island, Vakrinos tried to take out revenge by attempting to set fire to the house of his former father-in-law on the 13th of February 1992, but was unsuccessful. In 1992, Vakrinos left his position as a welder at Elephsis shipyard and became a taxi driver in Athens. On the 14th of March 1993, 16-year-old Feodros Bitolas and 18-year-old Andrea Sivus made fun of a couple during their evening walk. Vakrinos overheard the comments by Sivus and Bitolas and thought that their comments were unacceptable and impulsively shot at them many times. Both survived but were seriously injured. Six months later, on the 19th of November 1993, while driving his taxi, Vakrinos picked up 28-year-old Anastasia Asia Simitsi. Bakrinos suggested to Simitsi that she goes to a nightclub and she agreed. Returning to his taxi, Simitsi asked Vakrinos to take him home. Instead, Vakrinos suggested that the 28-year-old have sex with him, to which she outright refused. Vakrinos then took Simitsi to a deserted area in Mandra, a town in the Attica region, doused Smitsi in petrol before setting her on fire and burned her alive. Her charred corpse was found the next day. However, Hellenic police were unable to make a link to Vakrinos. On the 5th of December 1993, Vakrinos attempted to rob a petrol station at Febus Avenue in Athens as revenge, having previously argued with a petrol station attendant at the petrol station numerous times. Even though Bakrinos shot up a cash register numerous times, it did not open and his robbery was thwarted. In late 1993, Bakrinos toiled with 35-year-old taxi driver Fyodorgos Andreadis in Elefsina, a town in West Attica, 18 kilometers northwest from the center of Athens. To take out his revenge on the 9th of January 1994, Bakrinos posed as a customer in Isthmos, hopped into the taxi of Andreadis and asked to be taken to Corinth. An unsuspecting Andreadis did not recognize Bakrinos and set off. As Andreadis was driving one kilometer out of Isthmos and heading towards Lutrakio, Bakrinos asked Andreadis to stop the taxi and then shot him with a pistol. Bakrinos stole the watch of Andreadis and drove to Elefsina, where the initial argument originated months earlier. There he burned Andreadis' taxi with the corpse of Andreadis still inside. 
the remains of his burnt out taxi as well as the corpse of Andreadis were found hours later. In late 1995, Vakrinos turned to robbery, robbing a supermarket in Nikai in southwest Athens on the 4th of December 1995 and a supermarket in Aigileo in western Athens on the 15th of December 1995. However, some of his robberies would result in casualties. On the 10th of December 1995, Vakrinos broke into the car of a woman attempting to steal several items from it, having argued with the car's former owner. Two friends, George Kaukas and Vasilis Dula, both aged 23, were randomly passing by and saw Vakrinos committing the robbery before attempting to stop him. Not suspecting Kaukas and Dula to approach him, Vakrinos began shooting at them. Dula was slightly injured, while Kaukas was severely injured from the shooting and remained disabled for life. On the 20th of December 1995, Vakrinos attempted to murder an unidentified fellow taxi driver by hijacking the taxi driver's car, having argued with the taxi driver a few months prior over taxi priority in Moschato, southwestern Athens. However, his attempt to hijack his colleague's taxi failed. A few months prior, 33-year-old Kostas Spiropoulos, who lived in Akarenas, Athens, had bought a used car from Vakrinos. Spiropoulos lived with his 35-year-old brother, Antonis Spiropoulos. On the 21st of December 1995, Vakrinos attempted to steal his old car from the Spiropoulos brothers from their home in Akarenas. Caught in the act while stealing his old car, both brothers tailgated Vakrinos in an attempt to stop him which was unbeknownst to Vakrinos. Upon stopping at a petrol station, Vakrinos was approached by Kostas and Antonis Spiropoulos. Vakrinos proceeded to shoot the brothers on the spot with both dying instantly and Vakrinos escaping. Throughout mid to early 1996, Vakrinos continued to commit robberies, robbing a supermarket in the Athenian suburb of Aigialio on the 20th of March 1996 and robbed a supermarket in Nikaya in southwestern Athens in June 1996. Throughout 1996, Vakrinos began having arguments with the son of Nikos Agiandis, and on the 31st of May 1996, Vakrinos arrived at the home of Agiandis in an attempt to take care of business and settle old scores. Arriving at Agiandis' house, on Fivon Avenue in Athens, Nikos Agiandis did not open the door to an agitated Vakrinos and called the Hellenic police. Vakrinos headed into the basement of a nearby flat and when police officers Georges Mamos and Christos Georgiantopoulos, aged 31 and 24 respectively, arrived, Agiandis came out of his home to meet Mamos and Georgiantopoulos. Vakrinos began shooting at the three men, injuring Mamos and Georgiantopoulos, who were slightly injured in the attack, while Agiandas managed to escape injury by hiding. In August 1996, Vakrinos remarried and moved into Moschato in southwestern Athens. However, this relationship only lasted a matter of months, with Vakrinos arrested on the 11th of April 1997 at the age of 36. Upon his arrest, he was placed in Kordailos prison in Athens. Psychological evaluation found that Vakrinos had a psychopathological behavior as a result of his childhood as well as sexual oppression, reduced self-esteem, and cluster behavior. His overreaction to minor incidents seemed to be as a result of his excessive need for affection and a compensation for his short stature. As a result, he was unable to act rationally to challenges and insults, and as a result, turned to committing murder. Vakrinos was denied bail and set to go to trial for his killings. However, Vakrinos would never see justice for the five people that he murdered. On the 12th of May 1997, just one month after his arrest, he was found in the prison showers, hanging by his neck, having used shoelaces which he had tied to a shower head to commit suicide. Ironically, had he been taller, it is believed that he would have been unsuccessful in committing suicide. Thank you for watching. Please do yourself a favor and hit that like and subscribe button and the bell icon to inform you when new videos come out. It helps more than you know and your support is truly appreciated. 
You'll also be seeing two other videos for you to check out. Until next time, stay awesome, stay classy, be kind to everyone you meet, and have an amazing day.